Can Apple rival Huawei conquer the U.S. market? Techland confirmed that its Bad Blood DLC for Dying Light will introduce a new game mode. The gameplay will be somewhat similar to battle royale shooters such as PUBG and Fortnite. Dying Light three years after its original release, Dying Light continues to shine brightly. Techland offers its fans a PUBG experience with the upcoming Bad Blood DLC. The developers noted that most of the game's players requested for a sequel to the open-world zombie survival title. Likewise, other groups suggested something similar to a battle royale game mode. The game studio declined to mention anything related to a follow-up but opted to introduce the latter via a standalone downloadable content. Players can expect its availability sometime in 2018 until the company announces the exact launch date. To set the proper expectations, the parkour-heavy survival title is set to receive a new game mode that is similar in some ways to Fortnite and other such games. However, it does offer different mechanics that are supposedly fun in its own original way. According to people who tested the playable build at the 2018 GDC, there are aspects in the gameplay that require players to go against one another until only one remain. Likewise, everybody starts off with zero gear and must scavenge and collect better ones along the way. Therefore, the upcoming DLC has some elements akin to Battle Royale games but still manages to remain unique. Gameplay mechanics multiplayer matches in Dying Light with the Bad Blood DLC take a different approach. Unlike PUBG or Fortnite wherein hundreds of players are dropped into the game world, Techland keeps its Battle Royale game mode short and sweet. Six players are dropped off at random locations within a smaller section of Heron. The main task of each player is to collect blood samples from zombies, which appear to congregate in groups called hives. These collections of the infected are led by a tougher boss, which also drops more items compared to the regular ones. Gamers must survive by looting houses for any weapon or health kits. Once all players collect a total of 1,500 blood samples, this triggers the extraction event, which is similar to the shrinking play area of the other shooters. The condition is that only one player can board the helicopter, which encourages gamers to fight it out and steal the samples until only one remain. Furthermore, more items collected will help the characters level up. Balance issue Some of the feedback posted by players noted that the Bad Blood DLC game mode is not properly balanced. Even though Dying Light already has three years of experience behind it, Techland's approach reportedly needs more work when it comes to weapon balance. It seems that the way it currently stands, firearms are too powerful and supposedly ruin the fun during PvP. Meanwhile, on the positive side of things, the matches appear to be just the right length, while the smaller number of players means more games can be played within a limited time frame. Techland, Dying Light, Bad Blood DLC, Fortnite Battle Royale, PUBG Copyright 2018 Tech Times, all rights reserved. Do not reproduce without permission.